everybody, what is going on today? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to do a video showing you guys how paralleling cards actually affects pitchers and pitch speeds in MLB The Show 21. All right, so you guys do me a favor as always, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, man, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure you're subscribed here on Sunday, September 5th, we're doing the giveaway for the Ronald Acuna Jr. autographed mini helmet, all right? Live here on the channel, 11 a.m. Central. All you guys got to do is be subscribed to be able to win. That's it. All right. So you guys also, I've got new merch available. You can check out the link below. And also, if you're interested in becoming a member on the channel, there's exclusive videos there for you to check out. So here we go. Let's get to the video, show you guys how paralleling cards, it crazily affects pitch speeds. And it's really interesting. But first, make sure to check out the sponsor on today's video, ahmlb.com, where you guys can get cheap stubs to finish those collections off and get those awesome cards for your squad. Use code BIG at checkout for 5% off. All right, you guys, so we move back over here to this side just so I can tell you guys about these cards a little bit and how paralleling affects it. It's really, it is really neat. Um, so, all right, here we go. Let's go ahead and look at the parallels on the screen and check it out. Here's how parallels work if you guys don't know. What you get every time you parallel a card, obviously you're going to get a plus one to all of the attributes. All of the attributes are going to go up one all the way across the board. The hitting and the pitching attributes, they'll all go up one, all right? And you guys can toggle that by hitting uh, the square on PlayStation, or I believe it's the uh, the A button there on Xbox. Um, but you can, so anyway, all of those, all of those attributes will go up a plus one. By the time you get it to parallel five, it's all gone up a plus five. But with pitchers, it affects it differently because some of the attributes might already be maxed out. And pitchers can still have effect because they don't do just one thing, they throw multiple pitches. So a pitcher like Justin Verlander, who has outlier, or a lot of these guys that have outlier, that have 99 below, and you never see that number go up, what does that actually mean? Same with the break, too, by the way. The break's going to be the same, same kind of way. We'll, we'll talk about it here at the end as well. But if a guy throws a, a changeup, all right, a changeup, that pitch in particular, every time you get a parallel done and it raises that that attribute up one, it's actually going to lower the velocity of your changeup. It will raise the velocity of every other pitch. All right, every other pitch is going to go up a little bit over the time uh, while you're paralleling. All right, and it might take like two parallels for a mile per hour. I'm not sure exactly how that is. Uh, I believe that's what it what it came down to as I've been kind of looking at it here recently. But uh, so the the changeup though is the only pitch, and it's like this. The same exact way with your ball player in Road to the Show also, all right? The changeup is the only pitch that as your velo increases, it drops in velocity. And it's great. It's very effective for some pitchers because in particular, like Verlander is great because you're going to get a little bit more of a pitch speed differential. And that's what you look for in pitchers. You want that pitch speed differential. The one it is probably the most important with is this Nolan Ryan card, all right? And a lot of people are discounting this card but this is a big factor, all right? When you can get that circle change, and I believe it'll drop to 78 once we get it to P5, and we're getting close, I'm getting very close. But once we get it to P5, I believe that circle change is gonna go down another mile per hour. It may not seem like much to you. One mile per hour might not seem like much, but it is a huge difference maker. Timing is so important in this game that being able to do anything that you can throw off uh, the ability to read pitches better or the timing better of pitches is is obviously going to help you if you know what to do with it. So right here, now, th that's the example of how velocity changes on it, all right? Now, now break is going to be another thing that's also going to change while you're doing it because let's say he's got 99 break. When you go and you push in on your right joystick, you can actually see the break on the pitches over here. Now, some of them are maxed out and that's fine, but as you parallel him and go through it, the circle change in the sinker will increase a bit on how uh, how much break is actually affected on each one of those pitches. It just is the best way uh, to kind of judge how each one of them is done. But that's how parallels are going to help you out, man. There's a lot of pitchers that can be very well affected by using this. The new Felix Hernandez, a lot of you have him. He's free. Uh, this is a great card because he's got change up as his first primary pitch. Now, what's going to happen is as you parallel this card, your fastball is going to get faster, your change up is going to get slower, and you're going to increase the pitch speed differential, which is, like I said, harder for your opponent to be able to read pitches and get their timing down throughout that game. It's just something more effective that you can use uh, to, to help yourself. But uh, slurves, cutters, all the other pitches, man, sliders, all that, they will increase in velocity 
except as far as I know, any type of change up. The change up, the circle change, uh, I believe the palm ball will de will decrease. I believe splitters and fork balls will actually increase. I believe they don't, I don't, I don't think they decrease. I believe they actually increase. I know they can be looked at as a type of change up, but that is not the case. Um, I'm trying to think if there's any other type of change ups that we use. I know the circle change, but I think I said that already, but yeah, anyway, any type of change up in the game is going to be what's going to decrease velocity. Everything else is going to go up. All right. So it's just something to keep in mind. It's a good way uh, to kind of be more effective in what you're doing. Uh, just kind of as you're choosing your squad and your pitchers and everything throughout the year. So you guys let me know if you have noticed this on cards and it's made a big difference in that's why parallel cards is actually really important. It is really important because uh, especially for pitchers and they're actually pretty easy to parallel as long as they're starters. Uh, unless you're starting your relievers, that's about the only way uh, that that be that is uh, quicker or doing it at events. I made a video about that last week. You guys can check that out. Uh, but I hope you I hope this helps you guys out. Y'all do me a favor. As always, make sure to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, man. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. What pictures have you noticed that it's worked out great for you uh, with when you've done this? Uh, and maybe now that I mentioned it, I kind of broke the glass and maybe you kind of realized, now that's why he got that much better. And I noticed that much of a difference when I got him paralleled. So I don't know, maybe, perhaps. So you guys let me know and uh, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Thanks. Peace.